Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to do an intermediate flow this morning. Um, I'll have different modifications for different levels. If you're having a go at this and you don't fully fill intermediate level, um, for the most part, we're just going to do a bit of a flow, get moving, get the body warmed up, uh, give ourselves a few challenges along the way, and then cool down. Uh, it might be a little bit less than an hour, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely get you warmed up, don't worry. It's very cold today, so let's get into it. Start at a seat. Any seat. Oh, that feels comfortable. Cross-legged, sitting on a block, a blanket, a bolster, whatever you got handy. And then just rest the hands on the knees. Feel the sit bones ground down to the earth, let the eyes close down. And start to lengthen up and out through the crown of the head. Starting with a few slow, deep breaths in. And back out. And you might even like to take a couple of breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. A nice big sigh. Before sealing the lips, breathing back through the nose. Feel the belly start to activate to help your spine elongate. And take two more breaths here. Letting your awareness come back into the body. Arrive back in the space. One more breath. And we're going to practice our Nadi Shodhana breath today. So we'll take the uh, second and third finger to the forehead. Either hand is fine. And take a full breath in through both nostrils. Exhale back out the nose. And then closing down the right nostril, breathe in through the left nostril. Close the left, exhale through the right nostril. Breathe in through the right. Closing the right nostril, exhale through the left. And that's one round. Inhale left. Closing left, exhale through the right. Inhale, right. Close right, exhale, left. Our rounds finish and start on the same side through the left. Inhale, left. Closing left, exhale, right. Inhale, right. Closing right, exhale left. I'm going to take three more rounds of this in our own time. Following your own breath, your own rhythm. Remembering that each round ends as you breathe out the left nostril. And we use this breath to balance out the two hemispheres of the brain, to unite both sides of the body, to balance feminine and masculine, to find this sense of unity, of oneness through the body. This kind of breathing also helps us to calm our nervous system, to 
drop into not fight or flight, but rather rest and digest. We feel at peace in our present moment. When you finish your third round, <clears throat> exhaling through the left nostril, bringing the hands together in front of the heart. Feeling a flow of breath in and out both nostrils. The length and quality of the breath. Taking one more full breath here. And we'll open our practice for the chant of Om if you would like to join. Otherwise, you can just sit in the vibration of the sound, this universal vibration of our planet, of our universe. It joins everything, connects us to nature, to our environment. And if you are joining, we'll take a full exhale to prepare. <clears throat> All together, inhale. Oh. And softly we gaze to the earth. Come back into the space. And inhale, lift the arms overhead. Exhale, folding forward. Removing any props if you were using any to sit on. And just letting the legs cross easily, one in front of the other. Nice little stack. Lengthen out the arms, soften the chest. Try to ground through the sit bones. <clears throat> one more breath here. Exhaling. Inhale, walk the hands over to the right hand side. An extension of the shoulders. You fold over the right knee. You pull back with the left hip. Open up that left side body. One more breath. And bring the right hand back in on the shoulder. We will lean over to the right, left arm overhead. Inhale. Exhale. <clears throat> One more breath, inhale. Lengthen the arm. Exhale. Inhale up to center, both arms up. Exhale, twisting to the left, right hand to left knee, left arm behind. We bring out the spine, look over the left shoulder. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to center, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Switching legs. So whatever leg is in front, tuck it behind the opposite one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Sit bones grounded, the length through the spine, up through the crown of the head. One more breath here. Inhale, walking the hands to the left. Anchor through the right hip and exhale, fold over the left knee, open the right side body. One breath. Inhale, bring left hand underneath the shoulder, leaning to the left, right arm overhead. Nice little circle, open the right side of the body. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to center, arms up. Exhale, twisting to the right, left hand, right knee, 
right arm behind, bringing out the spine. One breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to center, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to heart. Hold your arms to hands and knees now. Just bring yourself back into the center of your mat. We'll start with a couple of our cat cow poses. So, making sure wrists are underneath shoulders, shoulders are nice and firm, and the shoulder girdles have a good hold on the arms. We're not sinking down in an unstable, unsafe position. We've actually pressed away from the earth and rounded the upper shoulders just a little to keep them nice and stable. Taking an inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze and the chest forward. Exhale, around the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, tilt the pelvis, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine, push away from the earth, draw the front body in. Inhale, cow. Exhale, rounding to cat. One more in your own breath your own time, exaggerating the movement to warm up the spine. And then inhale to a tabletop. Bring your toes together, knees wide. Exhale, press back, wide like a child. Walking the hands out in front, using that grip with the hands to push the buttocks back over the heels and keep the shoulders stable. Love. Sacrificing or dropping the shoulders into the armpits. Stay connected to the breath. Allow the forehead to connect with the mat. One more breath here. Inhale up into your cat pose, keep the knees nice and wide. Exhale, drop the hips, lift the chest up, and bend the feet up toward the head. Lift the head back toward the feet. Inhale, lower the feet round the spine. Exhale, press back wide like a child. Inhale, round the spine, come up. Exhale, drop the hips, bend the feet in toward the head. Push out of the palms. Inhale, lower the feet around the spine. Exhale, wide child's. One more, inhale, around the spine, come up. Exhale, drop the hips, lift the chest, feet toward the head. Inhale, lower feet around the spine. And exhale, back to wide like a child's. Inhale, come up to tabletop, knees back under the hips. We're going to come to a plank to start with. Find our nice downward dog length here, making sure that shoulders are firm, pressing back long through the legs, the heels, the belly switched on, and shoulders stack the wrists. Take a breath in here. And then exhale, press back to downward dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward dog. Let your body move like a wave with the breath. Inhale, ripple forward to high plank. Lengthen out the neck last. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Two more, inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, press back. Down dog. One more, own breath, own flow, own rhythm. Exhale. And then just take a moment, pedal out the heels here. Any kind of stretches you need to walk out the dog, or open the back of the body, the legs. Couple more breaths, 
slowly finding some of your stillness, your peace, your inner strength coming through. You take one more breath here. And then inhale, high on the tippy toes, walk the feet in toward the hands. Until you come into your rag dog, hip distance apart with the feet. We bend through the knees, we want our belly to rest on the thighs. So even if you go to bend quite low, make sure the knees track the toes, catch opposite elbow creases, let the upper body hang. Use the biceps to frame the ears. You can sway from side to side if it feels good. In time, maybe stretching out the legs a little straighter. As long as the belly stays connected to the thighs. One more breath here. And then coming back to center. And we'll inhale, half lift. Hands to shins to start with. Length out the spine. Exhale, folding back down. Legs are straight now. Inhale, half lift. Belly off thighs. Exhale, fold back down. One more. Inhale, half lift. <clears throat> Exhale, folding back down. Inhale, half lift. Alive, one more. This time, exhale, plant the hands, step back to a plank. Take a breath in, round the shoulders. And exhale, chat around, we're dropping knees if you need to. Our first one to go easy. Inhale, drive the chest forward through the arms, up dog or cobra. Exhale, round the spine, extend back into downward dog. Take three breaths. Find the controlled breath that we started with. And broaden out the shoulder blades. <coughs> Inhale, high into the tippy toes, walking forward to the hands as far as you can before you lift the hands off the mat and then we'll inhale again half lift exhale fold down inhale rise up arms overhead exhale tadasana arms by the side in your mountain pose we're going to bring the toes together heels slightly apart What's the chair to start with? But we'll inhale, lift the arms. Sun salutation A. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly on the scale. Inhale, half lift. Adho Uttanasana. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop if you would like back to plank. Lower on the exhale, chaturanga. Elbows in. Inhale, through for up dog. Push down through the hands. Exhale back into downward facing dog. Five breaths. Lengthen the arms. Four breaths. Spiral the inner thighs in and back. Three more breaths. Spiral the arms, the triceps, under biceps, up. Two more breaths. Really stay connected with the breath. Hollowing out the pelvic bowl, the exhale. Lengthening the spine. Last breath, inhale. Inhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Half lift. 
Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Press down through the feet and inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Exhale, Tadasana, arms by the side. Before we go again, find the belly, switch it on, spiral the thighs in and back. And then find length all the way up through the crown of the head, strong arms. Push down through all four corners of the feet. And take one breath here, inhale. Exhale. Lower body stays strong, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge over the legs. Keep the legs where they are. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or hop back, chaturanga. Drop your knees at any point if you need to. Inhale, drive the chest through, hop dog, shoulders down the back. Exhale, back into downward dog. Use the core to move. Three breaths now. Two more. One more breath. Inhale, step or hop to the top of the mat, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Exhale, Tadasana. Firm your foundation. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift. Third row. Exhale. Step or hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. This one's the earth bar. <laughs> Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Adam. Three breaths. Pressing away from the earth with the hands. Connecting not just the heel of the hand, but the knuckles, the fingers. Lengthening through the Achilles, the back of the legs. One more breath here. Beautiful work. <clears throat> Inhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Half lift, extend the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. And exhale, Tadasana, length up through the crown. Now with toes together, heels slightly apart, if you're not there already. We're going to inhale, bend the knees, scoot the earth into our chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, hold here. A couple more breaths. Make sure you find length through the tailbone rather than sticking your bum out. Switch the belly on and draw it in. Really stretch out through the arms, squeeze the knees together, heels apart, and sink a little lower. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward, find the earth, then straighten the legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, lift through the thighs. And exhale, back into your downward dog. Ground the left heel and inhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Up and top, warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back into a plank. Breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. 
Ground the right heel and inhale, step the left foot forward. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, frame the foot. And step back, high plank, take a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, chest through. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. And know that at any point, if you would like to drop down to a child's pose, that pose is always available for you. If downward dog feels like too much, if it doesn't quite feel like that home base yet for you. Three more breaths and you're downward dog. Two more. One more. Inhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Half lift, toes together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth with katasana. And exhale, rise up, arms by the side, tadasana. Take a breath in here, close down the eyes. Exhale. One more breath, find your center. Find control. Flutter the eyes open, inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth with katasana. Exhale, fold forward, straighten the legs. Inhale, half lift, extend the spine. Exhale, step or hop back, chaturanga, but lowering down. Dropping the knees if you need to. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. One breath here, inhale. Exhale. Ground the left heel and inhale, step the right foot forward. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, back down, frame the foot. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, shoulders down the back. Exhale, downward dog. One breath, inhale. Exhale. Ground the right heel and inhale, set the left foot forward. Rise up, warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, ground the hands. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Lift through the front of the thighs. Exhale, back into downward dog. Move using the belly, not the lower back. Five breaths. Broadening shoulder blades. Finding your hasta bundle, your hand lock. Fingers, knuckles, the whole hand. Feel free to take a little soft bend in the knees. If you wanna get your heels a little closer to the earth. Two more breaths here. Frame the ears with biceps, nice long spine. One more breath. Inhale, step or hop to the top of the mat, half lift. Toes together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth with katasana. Exhale, tadasana. Close down the eyes. And bring the hands together in front of the heart. Feel all four corners of the feet pressing down into the earth. The belly switched on, the thighs spiraling in and back. 
and the spine constantly creeping taller. Every part of your body working together to hold you in each pose that you move into. And then softly open the eyes. More inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth, Utkatasana. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Hook that left elbow outside the right knee. Notice if the left hip swing with you, or if that left knee pokes in front of the right, pull the left hip back, and rotate from the torso. Push the palms together, broaden the collarbone. Keep squeezing the knees, one more breath. Look down at the left foot, inhale, lift up the left foot, hover, and step it all the way back into a lunge. Keep the twist. Instead of collapsing to the left hip, lift it up to square the hips. Keep rotating through the torso. Driving left ribs over toward the right knee. One more breath. Inhale, arms up, high lunge. Exhale, fall forward, arrowhead. <clears throat> arms behind. Inhale, back to high lunge. Exhale, open warrior two. Adjust your stance if you need to here. Front heel should intersect with the back arch. Two more breaths here, nice bend in that front knee. Not reaching forward, shoulders and hips stay stacked. One more breath. Inhale, reverse the warrior, right arm overhead. Exhale, side angle. Option to stay with the right elbow on the right thigh, or if you want to reach all the way down, Helps to reach out from the underside of the body first and place the hand down the block or the floor on the inside of the right foot. Left arm shoots to the front of the room, nice long side angle. Right arm sandwiches with that right shin. And the right rib is wrap under. One more breath. Beautiful, inhale, drop the left hand down and come under the ball of the left foot, low lunge. Exhale, straighten the right leg, knee to nose, from nose to knee. <laughs> inhale, low lunge, lift the chest through the arms. Exhale, straighten the right leg, fold forward. Two more, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, fold forward. Power out that back leg. One more, inhale, lunge. Exhale, fold forward. Scissor the inner thighs together. Inhale, bend the knee, low lunge. And exhale, step the left foot forward to meet the right. Go forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fall back down. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth, chair pose. And exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth. Rukkatasana. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Notice as we're going. So your whole lower body going with you. See so if you can hold the hips square. Rotate from the torso. Keep both knees in line. And press the palms together to broaden the collarbone. 
One more breath. Look down. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step it all the way back. Keep the twist. Keep lifting that right hip to keep the hips square so that your rotation comes from the torso, not the hips. Push down with the left heel. Create a bit of space between that left thigh and the belly so that every exhale, you can creep the belly a little further across. One more breath. Inhale, high lunge, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, arrowhead. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open warrior two. Adjust your stance if you need to, make it longer. Move the feet. And then sink into that front knee. One more breath here. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Left arm down to the floor, block the thigh, whatever works. Right arm reaches long. Right shoulder blade opens, the chest drives through. And the right shoulder blade moves further down the back. Looking up towards that right arm, one more breath. Inhale, right arm down, low lunge. Exhale, straighten the left leg, fold forward. Inhale, low lunge, lift the chest, sit the arms. Exhale, straighten and fold. Scissor the inner thighs. Two more, inhale forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. One more, inhale, chest forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. Inhale, back to lunge. And exhale, step the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth, chair pose. And exhale, Tadasana. Close down the eyes. Bring the hands to the heart. Or to the chest and belly. Feel the heartbeat. Feel the quality of the breath. Feel the warmth and energy moving through the body. One more breath. And then slowly let the eyes open again. And come back into your Tadasana. With the toes together, the heels slightly apart. And we're gonna move through the same little sequence again. Quicker, less repetitions, so you know where we're going. A little bit of heat before we wind up. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth with Katasana. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Take one breath, inhale. Square the hips. Exhale, look down. Inhale, pick up the left foot. And exhale, step it all the way back to the twisted lunge. One breath, inhale. Lift the left hip slightly. Exhale. Inhale, high lunge, arms up. Exhale, arrowhead, arms behind. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. One breath here, inhale. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, left arm down, low lunge. Fold the left foot. Exhale, fold forward over the right leg, straighten the leg. Inhale, low lunge, lift the chest. Exhale, left foot forward to meet the right. Fold in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, bend the knees, grip the earth, Utkatasana. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth. Chair. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Keep the hips still. And take one breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful work. Look down. Inhale, pick up the right foot. And exhale, step it long. One breath. Firm your foundation. Inhale, high lunge, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, arrow in the head, arms behind. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open warrior two. <laughs> Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. One breath, inhale. Powering through the legs, exhale. Inhale, low lunge, right hand down, fold the right foot. Exhale, fold forward, straighten the left leg. Nose to knee. Inhale, low lunge, chest through. Exhale, step the right foot forward and fold in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth, Utkatasana. And exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees, scoop the earth, chair. Exhale, fold forward, find the earth, straighten the legs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, chest through, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths here. Four more. Observe the body. Observe the breath. Find power and length through all parts of the body. Two more breaths here. One more. Inhale, drop the knees to the mat. Lift the chest, tilt the pelvis into cow. Exhale, round the spine back into your child's pose. If you'd like to take knees wide, you can. If you'd like to take the arms back by your side or even through your legs, with one cheek to the mat, you can do that as well. If you have one cheek to the mat, remember to switch to the other after a couple of breaths. Center yourself. Find the breath. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Wherever you are, inhale. Back up to tabletop. 
tuck the toes underneath and exhale back into your downward dog. From here, if you can, on the inhale, we're going to try and lower both elbows and forearms to the mat at the same time into forearm block. And then walk the feet in. A little closer, drive the chest back toward the thighs. Press down through the forearms. Two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lower. One more each side. If you want to play with your forearm balance here, you can. But keep the gaze between the arms if you do go up. For everyone else, inhale, drop the knees to the mat. Exhale, child. And you are in your own home. So if you do want to practice things like forearm balances, use your wall. Keep your mat near the wall so that if you do want to go up, you've got that wall to support you behind you, give you the opportunity to feel which muscles need to switch on and stabilize in order to hold you there. It's mostly just our core. And give yourself a moment to rest in child. Just for one more breath. And we're all going to meet in our Dandasana. Seated on our buttocks with our legs long. So you can either swing your legs around in front, or if you're practicing jump throughs, maybe have some blocks handy. You can come from down the dog, shift the weight forward, cross the shins over, and then hop the legs forward and through. Coming to practice. A little bend in the knees if you need to here. Take a breath in, lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold forward. If you can reach the uh, feet, try and use that leverage to pull the chest through. So instead of rounding and letting the shoulders creep up to the ears, you're pulling the chest forward through the arms and creating a really nice long line through the spine, right up through the crown of the head. Take three more breaths here. Peel the pinky toes back toward you. Wherever your hands are resting. Keep pulling the chest through the arms. If you have some kind of strap, it helps to create that leverage point. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Inhale, half lift, extend the spine. Exhale, sitting back up. And come all the way down onto your backs now. We're going to finish with a couple of spinal twists. And then uh, before I leave you in a Shavasana, you can take any kind of inversion that you would like. So you have the option of taking your legs straight up the wall and scooching your hips nice and close. Uh, you can practice your headstand or forearm balance if you would like to be really mindful. Or you can take something a bit more restorative like bolster, cushion and block underneath the sacrum and legs straight up to the sky. For now, just start to come all the way down to the back. 
Draw the knees up toward the chest. Take the arms out wide. We're gonna scooch the buttocks, the hips over to the right and drop the knees to the left. Take the gaze back to the right hand. If you wanna get a little bit deeper into the spine, you can take your Garudasana legs, your eagle legs, where you just cross the right leg over the left, a little modified version, and then drop them down to the left side. Two more breaths here. One more. Inhale back to center. Unravel the legs if you have them crossed and scooch the hips to the left now and either drop the knees to the right or take left leg over the right and then drop them to the right. And if you need to, wiggle the right shoulder blade out from underneath. Give yourself a bit more space to broaden across the top of the body, the chest. Breathe into the twist. One more breath here. Inhale back to center, unravel the legs. And this is where you can take any final pose you need. If you want to take happy baby, if you want to take legs up the wall, practice any kind of inversion, shoulder stand even, or just something really simple, like legs straight up, maybe a blanket or something underneath the sacrum for a little bit of extra height. But wherever you find yourself, if it's not already in Shavasana, you just stay there for five breaths. Allow yourself the opportunity to Really breathe into whatever pose it is you're holding to let the energy of the awareness come back into the body. Ground yourself into the earth. And when you finally do arrive in your Shavasana, mindfully let the whole body start to uncurl and sink into the earth. Feel the weight of the muscles, the bones, sink down toward the mat. Let the eyes close. And surrender into your final rest. Savoring the benefits of your practice, the energy, the mindfulness you are able to achieve through simple attention, concentration, determination. And you can stay here as long as you like. In fact, I encourage you to stay here as long as you can. And know that you are safe and surrounded in your own home. But you can stay here as long as you need to, to allow your body to fully rest and restore. And let all of your practice, the thoughts, the poses, the attention to detail just marinate inside the mind while you rest. I'll see you guys all again soon. Thank you so much for joining me and watching this. With immense love and gratitude. Namaste.